Hi, this is Laura from Neon Vale Swimming World Group. I just want to do a quick video for you guys, uh, for my members and for other members as well, just to show you how quick and easy it can be to access Zoom. I'm going to show you on three devices, your laptop, tablet and a phone and show you the difference between them and all the actions you can do on there. So I'm going to start with your um, <clears throat> laptop. <clears throat> so you want to go into um, whatever search engine you have um, and type in Zoom and then click to search. Then it will come up with your Zoom video conferencing. So you want to click on that one. And this is the screen that will appear. You can either sign up, it's free, or sign in if you've already got an account, but you don't need to do either to access the meetings. You just join a meeting. Then it'll come to this page. You'll be given a code by your consultant and you can enter it there. And join meeting. We'll then come up with this screen that is loading. And as you can see, it's come up with a separate box and a little video camera at the bottom. That means you're accessing into the Zoom sign of app, if you like, there. To make it a lot easier for you next time, um, you can just click over this and press the left button. And that will bring up options and you can pin it into your taskbar so it'll be there next time so you don't have to go onto your internet uh, google search or anything like that i'll show you on the um, tablet how that comes up in a second so then you just enter a password for your meeting if there is one and join meeting and there we go and then you are in going to ask you a few questions to kind of join with your computer or audio at the moment i haven't got the video so as you can see this is what's coming up because i'm the only one in the chat at the moment um so you have start video so there you go you can see me oh yeah <coughs> excuse me um you can make the, obviously the screen bigger so you have got options here to stop or start your video you have got an option there to mute yourself then you'll find these bot buttons here at the bottom. So you have participants there. This will then come up with a list of everyone that's in the group. You have a chat button. Once again, it will come up with everyone that's in the chat. So you can type to who's in there. So if you just put, hey, that will appear there to everyone. Or you can press that one and it will come up with a list of everyone in that chat. So you could privately chat someone if you wish to. Then you've got reactions. Got a little clappy hands and a thumbs up, which you can use as well, which once you press will appear in your corner there. And that's pretty much it for that. Like I said, at the moment, you can only see I'm only in there at the moment. So this is what you will um, see if you're the only one in there. Um, now I'm going to show you what it looks like on a tablet. So over here on the tablet, as you can see, I've already got it pinned. So obviously, if you haven't got it pinned on your tablet, just go into your search engine like you uh, did on the like you would on the um, to search for anything. But as I've already pinned it, so you just press that. She says, "There we go." And this is what it'll come up. And this is what it'll come up on the laptop as well if you've um, pinned it in your taskbar as well. So we want to join a meeting and then the ID. Now, if you have um, been in this meeting room before and the um, ID is still the same um, as the previous um, virtual image therapy you go, if you go click down, it will have your previous one you've gone into. Because I've messed around with this earlier, the meeting I'm going to go to in this one, which is my test run, um, it's still the same code. So I'm going to just click that and join. And then enter password. And join meeting. There we go. Once again, it will ask you these options. So join and there you go so that's where my you can see i'm echoing let's mute mute that um so obviously that's 
that is what, because I'm turned away now, that's the laptop and this is my tablet. So if I did want to put the start video, there you go, you can see me there, but we're going to turn that off for now. She says, there we go. As you can see at the bottom, you have the same things as the laptop. Um, they will disappear. So you've got your participants. So as, as you can see now, there's two of us on there. Um, so yeah, it's exa exactly the same as before. Um, and like you see, you can see two of us. If I go over to the laptop, you can see there's two of us there now as well. So onto the phone. So hopefully you've already downloaded the Zoom app, which you can find in your app store. And this is a screen it will look like. Join meeting. And then once again, type in the code. If it's already been one you've done before, it will appear again. So you can type that, type whatever name you want to give yourself. Join meeting. Enter password. There we go, and we're in. Now the phone will look a little bit differently. So at the moment, this is the, hello. Um, this is the, the laptop, because this is the main one that's speaking at the moment. So this is what you will, this will be the main person that's speaking you will see on their phone. This is yourself there, I haven't turned the video on yet. You can press this one and that will give, there we go, I'm echoing now. Um, you can mute, unmute, start your video, but we're going to leave that for now. You have got the same as at the bottom, so you have got participants as well, so it will come up. Um, no, press the wrong one then. That's your more button, so there's your reactions like on the laptop and the tablet. Participants. There you go, and then you've got a list of the participants at the moment, and you can click on chat, so you can chat with any of them. You go into everybody, it'll come up if you want to send a message to a certain somebody. So we'll cancel that. Close that. Close again. There we go. If you move across, you see three buttons, three little dots at the bottom. You move across, that's all three of us. So that's the laptop, that's the tablet, and that's the phone. That's all you'll be able to see. And depending how many people are in the chat will depend how many more dots you've got. So you can scroll and see three people at a time. So if you did want to have a look at, see if you did want to see everybody, I would recommend either doing it on a tablet, where I do believe you can have up to see, you can see up to nine. Um, or if you go onto the computer, you can see up to 25 on one screen. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's it's pretty simple. So if we did want to do a reaction on this one, let's do a thumbs up. As you can see in a minute, there we go. Look, a thumbs up saying that's what the phone has, has, has said and done. Um, <clears throat> and that's it. I hope it hasn't been too confusing me doing three screens by myself. Um, but yeah, that, that's basically just the, the ins and outs of it, really. Um, I said we all got them same buttons they're just going to be in slightly different places depending on what you use and depending on what you use of how many people you can see at the same time but like I said with your phone just keep scrolling across um and you'll see everyone on there um if you're obviously on a, a laptop or tablet you don't necessarily have to scroll depending how many people are on there um but that was just the main buttons just so you know where the unmute mute button is and where the video um button was as well so I hope this has all helped for you. And if you did want to leave the meeting um, before it ended, before the consultant ends it, all you have to do is leave. Do you want to leave meeting? Yes. And obviously then you're out. Um, but then it will automatically go down as soon as your consultant ends the meeting anyway. So I hope this helped um, explaining it a little bit better and seeing it like this. It's made to think that actually it is quite quite nice and simple. Um, and like I said, when you first log into the meeting, um, let's see if I can quickly do it for you now. Leave meeting, yes. And like I said, let's close the internet because we don't need that. But if you go, if you pinned it, it'll come straight up. Look, join meeting. And like I said, if you've already done it, your ID will already be there. You have got a choice when you do log in, like I said, you can change your name. 
first you do have where you can turn off your video already so if you're not too confident and don't want to show your face that's absolutely fine until you're ready to you can automatically turn off my video and turn that so no one can hear me so then when you go straight into it it's all turned off for you you don't have to do it and then when you're feeling like yeah actually um i'm happy to that's when you can flick and share your video and things like that so yeah i hope this is all explained it and made it a little bit easier for you there we go and i said leave me in so yeah that zoom pretty much in a nutshell for you so i hope you've enjoyed watching this video um and thank you very much